Hello, this is Mohammed Furkan from Group Three, and I will be explaining buffer amplifier in this video. So, what is a buffer amplifier? A buffer is something that prevents the undesired effects of something. In this case, we have uh, undesired voltages and undesired currents, which will affect our uh, source. Uh, so, to reduce these effects, we will use buffer amplifier. This buffer amplifier basically provides electrical impedance transformation from one circuit. that is our a source circuit to load circuit and we will see how this is done in the later part of the video this basically helps us to reduce the effect of load currents and load voltages on signal source so what types of buffer do we have the we have basically two types of buffers voltage buffer and current buffer first of all the voltage buffer is uh, basically it is basically used to transfer voltage from source circuit with high output impedance to load circuit with low input impedance it basically prevents the load circuit from interfering in working of source circuit as we can see in this figure v out is amplified by some factor av which is known as gain of this circuit to understand it better that how why buffer amplifier is used we need to consider an example in this example we are basically taking a linear two terminal source circuit and using thevenin's theorem we can say that this linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by a equivalent uh, circuit with source voltage v in and an equivalent resistance of small r and we have a load connected with it which has capital uh, impedance of capital r now v out can be written as v in times capital r by small r plus capital r and current can be written as v in by capital r plus small r here we can easily say that th this uh, circuit puts many limitations on load voltage like one limitation is that that load voltage cannot be greater than v in which may be undesired for us and source current is also affected by v out so how to fix these things and the answer is we will use a voltage buffer amplifier so and one more thing that we need to know is that is the term of unity gain amplifier or also known as voltage follower in unity gain amplifier v out is basically equal to v in that is voltage gain becomes 1 in case of the previous example we can see that uh, th uh, this example can act like a unity gain amplifier if we make the load impedance that is small r very high uh, sorry that is capital r very high or we can make source impedance very low that is i r a small r tending to zero now how to make a unity gain amplifier so to do this we will use an operational amplifier and let's see this figure uh, in this figure i have basically used a non inverting Uh, i have basically connected the input voltage to the non inverting terminal of the operational amplifier and i made a uh, potential divider uh, joining v out and the ground and the partition between r in and rf is connected to the inverting terminal inverting input of the uh, operational amplifier and by analy by applying kcl and ohms law at the node connecting r in and rf we get that v out equals v in times of 1 plus rf by r in which means that the gain of this circuit is 1 plus rf by r in and we can also see that we can make this unity gain amplifier if we set rf equals to 0 we can also see that unity gain amplifier in this unity gain amplifier the our input impedance is very high which means that source current is very low by using ohms law we also know that v out equals v in and the low, uh, then and the output impedance is very much lower than the input impedance which implies that the load current is much higher than the source current again we are using ohms law so for voltage follower we have voltage gain is 1 and the current gain is basically the uh, uh, load current by source current and we know that load current is much much higher then the source current which implies that current gain is very high this also implies that power gain is very high because voltage is same but current is basically increasing by a large factor so what is happening in this in this voltage follower is that the power drawn 
from the source is very low but the output power is very high okay and uh, we this this circuit also uh, helps us to avoid loading effects now moving on to current buffer amplifier as of now we have seen that uh, unity gain amplifier uh, and how to make it and how it uh, converts uh, how it amplifies the current and may, uh, with make by making v out equals v in now the question arises can we do this for current sources also can we make unity current gain amplifiers or not and the answer is yes we can make current gain amplifiers in which the current will remain same and the voltage will become very high again increasing the power by uh, keeping the current same and the uh, and increasing the power uh, and increasing the voltage by a large factor and for doing this we will use bjt and we can see this following circuit how we are doing this so that is all about uh, our buffer amplifier and its types so thank you so much